Hello there! In today's video I'm going to show you a new quick action recently added to Adobe Creative Cloud Express. If you don't know, this is something similar to Canva just from Adobe. So this is casual graphic design software available for free in the web browser. And in recent update they add a QR code generator as new quick action. So let's check it out. After you log in to Adobe Express, you can simply scroll down to your quick actions. The different categories, we got images, uh, videos and stuff like that. And also this new QR code quick action. So we can just select this new option and we'll be able to see this generate QR code pop-up window. You can pick the style, even a color then you will need to paste the link to your website over here. You can decide about format because PNG, JPEG and SVG. And I'm very interested in SVG. This is scalable vector graphics, so that's vector. Normally, other websites, other QR code generators keep SVG behind paywall. We need some kind of account to get them. We can, in this case, this is our SVG. I loaded already in the web browser and it's look fine. This is definitely scalable vector, but I find out a problem with this QR code from Adobe Express. After I load this SVG into Affinity Designer, as you can see, the QR code is gone. I got just one red square and then one white square. So something is wrong with this SVG. So I keep testing it and open the same file in Vectornator and I got exactly the same result. That's super strange. So the QR code is gone. I can only see a, a big red square. But then I drag and drop this SVG into Microsoft Word and works just fine. I can see my QR code here and it's still a scalable vector. So I can scale it up and down without losing quality. So that's really, really strange. I got this SVG, works well in one software and cannot open in another software. That's kind of weird. So I decided to test it out in Adobe software itself, right? I, it was generated by Adobe Express. So I open my Adobe Illustrator, load it in and something's wrong here. I cannot see the QR code straight away. But after I open, turn to the view mode to see the outline of my shapes, if I click the view mode to show just the outline of vector shapes, then I will be able to see this QR code. Take a look. This is the outline. So the QR code is there. It's simply white right now for some reason. So if I select this shape for the QR code and recolor this, so let's go back to pixel preview. If I re recolor this selection now, let's say I will go with something similar with before. Let's go with the black and then turn it into red. Now I got my scalable QR code in uh, Adobe Illustrator, but that's what that was not a smooth process. So I you need to be careful with this SVG. That's really great. No ads and free SVG, but seems like it's not a perfect solution. One program can open this SVG perfectly like we did in Microsoft Word, but I got tons of troubles with it using Vector Native uh, Affinity Designer. So be careful about this SVG format. If you are not sure, just pick PNG and you are good to go. Alright, I hope this tutorial was helpful and for more graphic design tutorials follow my YouTube channel. I will see you in the next one. Bye!